So guys, Madam Subbing still isn't back yet. And we have no teacher for today. Who do you think is going to be teaching us? Me, me, me! No, no, me! I can! I'm sure I can do it. How hard could it be? Man, wouldn't it be funny if all of us were teachers? Good morning, students! Isn't it a wonderful day for learning? Why does everyone look so down? Didn't you guys have a good weekend? No. How about let's do some warm-ups? Everybody on your feet. Let's start some jumping jacks. Come on, guys. Stand up, stand up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Today we're gonna learn about dinosaurs. Oh, Did someone say boring? These creatures roamed our planets long before we existed. What's that? What's that? Is that an Ankylosaurus? Uh, uh, a Stegosaurus? Uh, uh, an Allosaurus? It's gonna be a fun class. Miss Diana, this is the homework that's due today. Just hand it up tomorrow. I spent all night doing this. Why are you trying so hard? You're giving me a headache. Go and sit down. Didn't really think of a lesson plan today, so just do your self-learning. Jumping jacks, you want to roll around, whatever it is, I don't care. Just keep it down, okay? Uh, Miss Diana, may I use the bathroom? You know what? Why not everyone take a bathroom break? How long do you need? 30 minutes? Go, 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 go! Alright! You, pass me that. Go. So class, I know that you guys have been having troubles with yesterday's homework. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try all of the math questions together in class. I'm also going to be walking around and if you have any problems at all, feel free to ask me. And just remember that no question is a stupid question. Am I handsome? Okay, so this is what we call a quadratic function because it has an index of 2. And to solve this, what we're going to do is we're going to use the quadratic formula. All we need to do is plug all the numbers into the formula. And that's it. That's the answer. Wow, you're such a great teacher, Mr. Denise. I finally understand it now. Jiahao, I know you have been struggling with this class, but all you have to do is concentrate. You have actually been doing really, really well, so keep up the momentum, and if you need any one-on-one -on -one help, you can always come see me after class, okay? Thanks, Miss Denise. Vincent, this is good, but I think we can do better. Actually, Miss Denise, I got a question. If the value of a right angle is 90 degrees, does that mean the value of a left angle is negative 90 degrees? Vincent, I know I said there were no stupid questions, but that was just pretty... interesting. You know how your mind works? <laughs> the creativity. But maybe we can try and refrain from being so creative when we are dealing with math? Does that mean I get the one-on-one -on -one lesson? No. That just means you stupid, bro. So, can all of you guys pass up last week's homework to the front? Uh, Miss Vicky, about last week's homework, I didn't really get it done. Can I get an extension like a day, a week, a month, so I can get it done? Why? I've given you ample amount of time. This is simple addition, multiplication and division. And you're telling me you can't do that? So, did anyone else go to do your homework? All right, class. I know you guys have been studying really hard this week, so how about we do something fun? Like watch a video, huh? Yeah, I've been watching videos all week. I know, right? Isn't that great? Nope. Nope. Prepare then, huh? Mr. Vincent, our exams are coming up and we need to get back on track. Exams? So soon? Um, all right, fine, fine. Uh, um, uh, how about we do some self-studying, all right? Help each other out. Uh, any questions, ask Denise. Mr. Vincent, can we go to chapter 9 of the chemistry textbook? You know what? You guys are the hardest bunch of students I've ever had. When I was a kid, all I wanted to do was skip class and slack off. But here you are, asking me to teach. Does it look like I became a teacher to teach? Then why else did you become a teacher? How about you tell me another job that gets summer off? Huh, kid? Or free flow cafeteria food? Huh? Along with the power that is bestowed upon me! So you best sit down, boy. 
I am sitting down. Or I don't want to hear it. Free period. No more questions. Okay, so trigonometry, <laughs> quadratics, formula. You know, you know what, guys? You're never gonna use this in real life. All right? Quadratic formulas and stuff. You know what? Here. Look what I have. Answer sheets. <laughs> All right. But don't tell anyone. Here you go. Answers. <laughs> Answers. No? Would you like more questions? Here you go. Answers. <laughs> I know, right? Tell me about it. If you guys think Madam Subing is bad in the classroom, y'all gotta see her in the staff room. <laughs> hey, so you guys wanna check out the staff room? I'm telling you what, there's a new PS5 in there. And also next week's lesson plan. You gotta see next week's lesson plan. Oh, let's go, let's go. Oh. So this Mr. Allen guy, he owns a few companies outside. And from what I heard, T1, T5 is going on an internship. So what do you guys want? Apple, Google, Titan? I'll try to get you an internship there. I don't really want to work. You know what? Me too. So our principal, Miss City, right? What about Miss City? Talk about annoying. She's always telling us to hit our KPIs, our goals, achievements, blah, blah, blah. I mean, relax. We're just teachers, not salespeople. So what else about Miss City? I'm getting into that, alright? She's so demanding. Always telling us, Oh, we gotta clean it, gotta tuck in our chairs, gotta push in the chairs. You know, all the students gotta be happy, gotta clean up the staff room. She's so annoying, so demanding, so... Cute. Mm. And... Nice? And... Uh, kind? Did I mention nice? See me after school. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, so yeah, the cookie yeah, dome yeah, and the water yeah, park. Yeah, so the thing, the There's one thing I don't get it. Uh, like, why do we have to go to school? Okay. Continue talking, yes? Making lots of noise. Okay, I need to hear your voice. I heard we're going to a water park. Nobody wants to study. I will wait. I will wait. The thing about water park is going yeah. to bring a flow tea. No, no, no. I mean, no. better without cooking it. Nobody wants to pay attention. You leave me no choice. I have to show you my ultimate! Are you think you can with quiet just with a finger? I guess it's not working. I need something to relate to them. Vibe check, vibe check. I know the class is a bit too low vibrational. So let's level up the skibidi toilet wrist up in here. Did you just say skibidi toilet wrist? You guys gotta get on my greedy. You're not even using the words right. You are keeping Pookie Bear. It's giving. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed for him. This secondhand embarrassment. Giving, giving what? Back me up, bro. Eh? The only thing you're giving is cringe, bro. <laughs> cringe Lord! <laughs> All my life, all I ever wanted was to be a teacher. All those times where I bullied Madden Subing. Now I know how it feels like. This is even harder. <laughs> but I've learned, I've learned one thing. This generation is cooked, bruh. It's cooked. Everyone, eyes in front. Now, I know our first exam didn't go as planned, but it ain't over until it's over. We are only halfway through our semester, and we still have time to turn it around. Now, I want each and every one of you to look at one another, that you're not doing this just for yourself, but you are doing it for them too. All those nights you've studied, you wouldn't want it to go to waste, right? Now, I want you to show your parents, show your teachers, show your friends, and most importantly, show me that this was an all for nothing. Now, what team? What kid? Uh, Mr. Harkin, this is very inspirational. But how is it related to photosynthesis? Photo. Class dismiss. Hey, hey! Why is everyone so noisy? I can hear you all across the hallway. This is a fish market. Does anyone understand this topic? Do you need me to explain it again? What do you mean you don't understand? I thought I taught you this before. Hola! Hola! Who told you to switch seats? Get back to your own seat. Why isn't anyone raising their hands? 
Why is everyone raising their hands? What do you think this is? An auction? You need to go to the bathroom again? Here's your whole pass. <laughs> Who said I need insurance? I don't need no insurance. I told you I don't need insurance. Do I not look healthy enough to you? <laughs> what? Picture a photon born in the sun's core through nuclear fusion, battling its way to Jupiter, zooming across space in eight minutes to hit a leap. Starting photosynthesis, converting carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and glucose, highlighting the intricate link between the planets and life essential processes. Oh, say it, don't spray it, am I right? Why is your paper wet? Go get it dried up. Class, did we finish chapter 9 or was it chapter 8? You know what? Let's just do chapter 7 to be safe. Okay, so let's check the homework I assigned. Or did I assign any? Or was it just a dream? Or somebody could tell me what I said last week, that would help. Uh, you, you, you told us to go for an early recess. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And, and, and next class, next class is cancelled. Okay. Here is a diagram of the reproductive system. And this is the uterus. Wait, isn't uterus a planet? Or was it Uranus? That is definitely in the body. So, today we have a surprise quiz. Or is it a surprise test? Miss Debbie, it's not a surprise. You told us about this yesterday. Oh, yeah. Um, how about we just stick to the surprise and have pizza? Class, I'll be collecting your homeworks now, so please have it ready. Miss Maddie, sort of forgot my homework today. That's okay, Tian Hao. It happens. Miss Maddie, I've already done my homework. <laughs> but there was a few questions I didn't understand, so I had to leave a blank. Well, then you may as well not have done it. Detention for you! Class, can anyone tell me the difference between a plant cell and an animal cell? <laughs> a plant cell has a cell wall and an animal cell does not. Miss Maddie, a plant cell has a cell wall, but animals do. Excellent job, Tian Hao. I, I, I said it first! Maybe next time you should raise up your hands. Sure, a plant growing on land. Uh, Miss Maddie? Yes? I, I I actually have to go today because my um, turtle has like a birthday thing. Of course, Tian Hao. Wait! Help me say hi to your turtle. Got it. Miss Maddie, can I go to the bathroom? No! Hold it in! Is my class not important to you? Can't be real, right? This is really happening. Wow, such nice handwriting. This is what we're gonna learn today. The Roman Empire began in 27 BC with Augustus as its first emperor, and at its peak, it covered much of Europe, Middle East, and North Africa. Known for its contributions to law, engineering, and architecture. The Roman built roads, aqueducts, and monumental structures such as the Colosseum. Latin, their language, evolved into the Roman languages and influenced English. There was also a period called the Pax Romana, which is a period of peace that lasted for 300 years. The Western Roman Empire fell in AD 476, while the Eastern Roman Empire or the Byzantine Empire lasts till about 1453. Do you guys understand? I don't wanna, I don't wanna go to school today. When we learn about kinematics, we start from displacement, which is measuring the distance relative to fixed point O. This means displacement can be positive, it can also be negative. After displacement, we also have velocity. Velocity will be the same thing as differentiating your displacement, ds over dt. And if you want to find velocity at a very specific time, this is how you will do it. After we're done with velocity, we also have acceleration. Acceleration is how fast velocity is changing with respect to time. So again, we differentiate it one more time. When acceleration is equal to zero, what does that mean? 
Uh, uh, stationary. No, acceleration is equal to zero. That means you're not moving any faster. This means constant. Constant what? Constant pressure. Since when did I say the word pressure? Constant speed. Uh, every the constant pressure. So that's how everything comes together like that. Are you guys done taking notes? Can I erase this now? No! No! Alright, alright students, come on, hurry up! Sit down! Kevin, get over here! Oh, this is Zachary, not again! <laughs> what do you mean, not again? Oh. Oh. Alright class, before we begin, I'll need someone to erase the whiteboard. Vincent, get over here! Why me? Oh. Oh, who is does this? Come on. This is exactly. I just erased that part. Stop yapping and start wiping. This is not nice. Okay, stop it. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Okay, class. Open up your literature books. I need someone to read out Act Five for me. Bernie Chang. Huh? Read out Act Five for me, please. Um. Uh, ha. Okay. Uh. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore I do Romeo deny the father and refuse the father's name, and I will no longer be Kapu, 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 Kapu. What was that? Kapu, 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 what? Just for that, everybody is going to detention because Rani Sam can't pronounce Kapu. Ah, come on. Oh, no. Maybe it's better none of us are teachers. Alright, class, good morning. Mission! 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 We miss you so much! Don't ever leave! Did something happen? Nothing. We just miss you too much. Oh, that's so sweet of you guys. Does that mean you guys did your homework? Bling, bling, bling. What's that? Oh, the bell for recess? Okay, let's go. Yes. I stayed up all night to do the homework. And I wasn't trying too hard. I'll get you the homework. Oh. Guys, guys, it's parents teacher conference day. I'm really excited, guys. I think I did pretty well this semester and I think my mom will be proud of me. But what if she finds out that I'm with Ben? Then she might ground me or even make me break out with him. Oh, then all my effort will go down the drain. Tell me about it. I did so badly this year. And if my stepmommy finds out how bad I have done, she's going to give me a good spanking at home. A good spanking? A, a bad spanking at home. Ah. After last year's parent-teacher conference, Papa didn't even talk to me for a week. That was a good week, actually. What? Okay, guys, there's literally nothing to worry about, okay? Our parents are going to come, they're just going to make friends with our teachers, have a conversation, and completely forget about it when they return home. It's all good, right, Denise? I don't really feel that confident this time. I actually even have a bad feeling about this. Yes, yes, guys, look. Even Denise is freaking out. We're the same. We're all the same. We're the same as Denise. Wait. Even Denise is freaking out. Oh, guys! OMG, Shirley. It's hey. so nice to see you again. <laughs> Mwah. You? Mwah. We have so much to catch up on, like what happened to the time when I invited you for Pilates, huh? I mean, you're not getting any younger. Aren't you going to take care of that body? Maybe next time. Let's talk about Debbie for the day, yeah? Oh yes, Debbie! So what's new with her? Is she still at this school? Yes, that's why we're having this meeting. Right, right. Um, guess who else was in this school? Me! Remember the night school program? Are we ever going to do that again? Can we at least have those cute uniforms? Can we go back to Debbie for now? So, basically, she is doing quite well this semester. It's just that she's a bit distracted by... Uh... One second. Hello? Oh, hi, Jessie. Oh, no, I'm not busy right now. I'm just having afternoon tea with Debbie's teacher. I know, right? Boring! <laughs> anyway, what's going on, girl? There are cute guys at the gym right now. OMG, I am so on my way. Um, Shirley, do you want to come? I have work. Uh, when? Right now? Just tell them you're working from home or something. It always works for me. Okay, I'll see you next time I gotta go. Carry on with your session. I'll see you, Debbie dear. Bye.
So Michelle, how has my son been doing? I'm sure he's at the top of his class, right? Actually, I'm quite worried about Kevin's performances for the semester. What's there to be worried about? Kevin has been getting A's. Uh, Mr. Fook, the only A's that Kevin has been getting is A for absent. That's impossible. I send him to school every day. This is his results of the last semester. All straight A's. Mr. Fook, I can assure you that Kevin's performances has been poor. You must have mistaken him for someone else. Michelle, how many Kevins do you have in this school? There's only one Kevin Fook, Mr. Fook. Kevin, what have you got to say to that? Uh, someone's copying me. Someone's trying to impersonate me. Ah, Michelle, that must be the reason. Someone is trying to bring dishonor to the Fook family. Let me tell you, we have an old family saying Don't fuck around with us Let's go, Kevin Yes, Papa By the way, good day Ah, uh, yeah, okay, Mr. Fook Ah, Mr. Fook, it's that way Yeah, <laughs> good, good day So, Vincent has been performing really poorly this semester He's either distracted or been distracting So that's something that he really needs to improve on Huh? What you say? I'm sorry, Miss Shirley, but my popo doesn't really speak English that well, so I'll be doing the translating. Okay. So, I was saying, Vincent has been really distracted in school. Popo, Lao Shu Shuo, Wo Chui Hao Le. Chui Hao Le, Chui Chui Hao Le. He has been getting the worst grades in school. Ah, Popo, Wo Gao Shi, De Yi Ming. Ah,他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他
No more television. Mm. And then you are going for your math and piano classes. And after that, you are going to put on your tights and go for figure skating to figure all of this out. No, no, no. Useless. I had enough. Bring your sister in. I want to hear what teacher to say for all of you. Sister, come here. Ah, that's my Diana. Come sit next to me. You go inside. Shoot, shoot. Ow, my foot. Come, Diana. Sit down, sit down. Come, Miss Shirley. Tell me more about my Diana. How has she been doing in school? Okay. Um. So Diana has been failing. Uh, in math and science. Ah, but there are other students failing at this too, right? Well, yes. There are other students who fail uh, in these classes as well, but um. Ah, that's your answer. Your paper must be too hard for my Dina. Maybe you can look into it and make it easier for my Dina. I I, I failed too. Stop talking. You fail everything. This is Dina's time. Useless. I mean, she's also late. Like when is young? Ah, late. That is that is my fault, not my Dina's fault. No, because I'm driving the car. There are many cars on the road. That's why I late. So you punish anybody, you punish me. Don't punish my Diana. Okay, punish this guy. So, thank you so much for coming. Uh, shall we start with Hakim's progress in science? I'm so sorry that you've got to go through a boy like Hakim. I don't know where he gets this behaviour from. But mom, she haven't even said anything yet. She doesn't have to say anything. What? I know what she's about to say. My child is a delinquent. No, 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 no. Actually, Hakim hasn't been failing any of his classes. Hasn't been failing? So what? He's been skipping his classes? To do what? Basketball again with his friends? This is what I get for buying you all those balls with money that I worked so hard to earn? Uh, actually, Hakim is the worst student in your class? Stop! I, I, I can't take it anymore. This boy is making me cry. I am so humiliated. I knew I shouldn't have come. When your father hears about this at home, it's going to make him cry too. Is that what you want? To make your poor father cry? Alright. Okay, so for this semester, Denise is not only the top scorer for this examination, she also scored full marks for every subject. I look forward to seeing Denise continue with her efforts and with the tech combination coming up, there will be an even bigger opportunity for her to prove herself and build her portfolio to apply for the MIT. Well, if Denise is scoring full marks for every subject, that means the examinations are not hard enough. <laughs> but Mrs Taylor, Denise is a prodigy and she's one of the smartest kids in the school. Not many in the school and even in the nation are comparable to her. Then, raise the standards. It's a simple expectation, nothing special about it at all. So, moving forward, I expect to see improved lesson plans for future semesters. Is that clear, Miss Shirley? Uh, I said, is that clear, Miss Shirley? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Taylor. Good. Come along, Denise. So, in terms of academics, Ben actually improved quite a lot um, by him passing all his subjects. Uh, not only that, he also got an A for his math and he also excelled in uh, trigonometry. However, Ben still falls asleep in class pretty often and he tends to hand his homework late, so these are the areas that he can definitely improve on. Yeah. <laughs> Enough with all this trigonometry. Why don't you just email me all of this? Dad, my studies are important too. I want to try harder. I want to pull myself to Debbie. <laughs> are you kidding me? Why don't you join a musical then? Right, Miss Shirley? You want Ben to sing some songs now? <laughs> So, um, 
Maddie, where are your parents? You're overseas on a business trip. Right. Um, how about your sister? She's busy with work too. Then do you have anyone else, like a guardian or something? Mm. You can just tell me. Pretend I'm the parent. Bye. Hey, so, Maddie, for one, you need to buck up your grade. No, 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 Miss Shirley. You have to pretend that I'm the parent. Okay. So, Maddie needs to pay more attention in class. And she had been a distraction to many others, especially Jin Hao. So it would be great if she could, you know, improve on those. Ooh, I'll be sure to tell myself that when I see me. <sighs> Look, Maddie, you know what? This is not working. How about you come back another day when your parents are free or like your sister or guardian or something? Uh, uh, uh. Miss Shirley, it's Mrs. Maddie to you. Just help me call the next parent and student coming. Yes. Please. Thank you. Mr. Walter, I'm sure it's of no surprise that Tin House grades haven't been improving since the last time we spoke. In addition, he has also been a huge distraction to the rest of his classmates, constantly having fun and not paying attention. What have you been doing in class? I see, I see. It's not his fault. You know, if I were him, I want to have some fun too, right? Furthermore, he's now not only distracted by Denise, but also Maddie. Maddie now? <laughs> it's not his fault. Boys his age, getting distracted by girls. Who would want that, I'm right? Saying. It's what I'm saying. Plus, there's been a lot of complaints from other teachers about Tian House. Michelle, Tian House family wanted me to present you with this gift. <laughs> you know that teachers can not accept gifts from parents. Please don't think of this as a gift. Think of this as a token of appreciation for helping how over the years. Oh, token of appreciation? <laughs> so, Michelle, what were you saying? Oh, nothing. Um, you know, I'm just been flustered with all this. So, is there anything you can do with the card? Sure, sure, sure. Okay. So before I release you, can you just sit down? Some little improvements that you made, okay? Is there a reason why he's here? Maybe just supervising, I guess? Yeah, um... <clears throat> okay, um, so, as I was saying, I would need you to improve on your punctuality just, just a little bit and pay more attention in class. And also, Mr. Walter, can you please make sure that he submits his homework on time, okay? Because teachers like us need to keep track of their progress, okay? Alright, cool, yeah, that's it. Thank you. You can do it. Thanks. Alright, your report card, don't forget. Uh -huh. Bye. Yo, that was so weird, did you see that? What's that about? Why was Mr. Allen sitting beside me? Do you know anything about this? No. And did you see his bracelet? It was literally matching with the one Nicole gave me. What's that about? He's the last person I want to have something to match with. Everyone has the same bracelet. Look at Mike. See Mike? I gotta think about it. Since when were you a Swifty? Swifty? Oh, Swifty. Back to December. We have piano lessons. Let's go, let's go. Wait, that doesn't even grammatically make sense. Mom? Uh, so Bing, are you okay? Yes, just hurry up and get on with it. Okay, okay. So So Bing, I mean <coughs> Madam So Bing, congratulations. Vicky has performed really well for her academics, especially in math. Good to know that all my math tutoring has been effective. But it's much worse for her science. What? Vicky! We've gone through this over and over again. You know what? I want to see a science teacher! That would be you? Are you blaming me? Do you know how hard it is to juggle between being a mother and a teacher? In school, you have 30 kids in that class and at home, there is one more. And on top of that, one hour ago, my water broke but somehow I... Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say your water broke? Mom, we have to get you to the hospital. Nope, I will be fine. I am absolutely... Oh, I'm not... I am not fine. Is there a doctor here? Don't worry, I'm here. I've done this multiple times. 
Well, not in school, but it's certainly. Just shut up and hurry! <sighs> okay, okay, okay. You can help, okay, okay. Does anyone need help? Get out, Kevin! I'm gonna count to three, okay? And you push. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Michelle, wait up! Wait up! Don't you think you've been giving us way too much more lately? It's getting in the way of my personal life and relationships! Look, Vincent, at least you students get to be the comfort of your own homes. I, on the other hand, have to be in the school, in the staff room, planning for the next lesson and thinking of more homework for you guys. So, hurry up and get started. You don't want to lag like, behind, right? You know, you always have your way of words, Michelle. Bye! Bye! Are you really going to give them more homework? You know, more work for them means more work for you, right? Yeah, that's why I never give my students homework. And they love me. It's a win-win situation. Well, see you in the staff room. Shirley, you haven't had your lunch yet? No, how am I supposed to finish marking all these papers if I go for lunch? Look, then maybe don't give them so much homework? Don't give them so much homework, I don't know anymore. I told you so. I can find M forty one's timetable. I don't know what's the lesson plan for tomorrow. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, this isn't mine. Muturaja? What is a Muturaja? We don't talk about that here. Oh, if Miss City comes in. Uh, wake me up real quick. Okay? I'm too tired to do anything. Good night. That guy never does any work. That's not even his desk. He doesn't even have a desk. He teaches PE. He doesn't even need a desk. Probably a locker or something. <clears throat> Salim, uh, so I missed lunch and I'm pretty hungry and there's a rumour going around that you are the man I should be looking for. Say no more. Wow, where do you get all these? Confiscated goods. And you're okay with eating all of them? What are you going to do? Confiscate them back? <laughs> you get a bag of chips. You get a bag of chips. You get a bag of chips, and you get a bag of chips. You also get a bag of chips. Everyone gets a bag of chips. Yeah. And you get a protein bar. Mr. Salim. You can't be giving away things you have confiscated from students. It goes against our code of conduct and the rules of the TUC. The what? The TU? Teachers United Council. I'm sure all of you would agree with me, right? I'll be sure to bring this up during the next council meeting. Another one. Thank you. 
Ah, Natalie. Seems like all the students love you. Must be really nice to receive so many gifts every day, right? Yeah, they're so sweet. They even write me letters. Here's one. Maybe you should read it. <clears throat> Dear Natalie, I have been admiring your beauty from afar for far too long. Your looks, your posture, there's not a single flaw I see about you. You are the best teacher that walks the halls of the academy. I hope you will accept these flowers as a symbol of my love. Yours truly, Walata. Walata. Do we have a student in Walata? Mr. Walata! What are you doing outside the staff room? I just, uh, you know, turn on Nicole. Nicole, turn on. I, I'll go now. Oh, by the way, I heard you're single. Maybe you want to go... Get out! Okay. Hey, how's everyone? It's alright. Students are students, hmm. right? Yeah, tell me about it. They're just getting more and more annoying. Who's your most annoying student? Well, I thought I had a guess over here! Hey, Shirley! We were just talking about who's the most annoying student in Titan Academy. Right now, it's between Timmy and Kevin. And it's obviously that Timmy fella. There was this one time he kept coming up to me and saying, Mr. Danny Chief Kerry Books and all that nonsense. <laughs> like that boy cannot keep his mouth shut. No way! It has got to be Kevin! He keeps sucking up to us, expecting us to like him like Kevin. We don't care! <laughs> it's really pathetic if you ask me. And don't get me started on that Dian Hao Tan. I confiscated his phone years ago and I still have it with me. Oh my god, same as these! I confiscated his phone too! <laughs> Come on guys, we shouldn't talk bad about students. At the end of the day, they're just kids. They should be taken care of and not made fun of by us teachers. <clears throat> but it's definitely Vincent. Wait, why did you think of that? I was thinking of Vincent. I was thinking of Vincent. Hey, Shelly. Hmm? You know that new girl from T1T5, Maddie? Mm -hmm. Vincent can't keep his eyes off of her. Really? Mm -hmm. But I thought Vincent and Denise would make a better pairing though. Like, you know what they say? Opposites attract. But isn't Denise dating Tian Hao? And what is that about? Like, and why did it take so long? <gasps> I mean, come on. That boy has no game. Just look at Cleverly. He got together with Diana within just two days. Yeah, what does she even see in Tian Hao? Do you see it? I don't see it. And you know what? That Ben and Debbie situation has to change. <gasps> you know what we should do? What, 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 what? We should make them Right? Yes. Look at us, we are so sneaky. Oh my god, have you heard about what Vicky did in the library? No, what about Vicky? Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh. Did you hear that? I think that's a bell. I think I have a class. <laughs> I'll see you. Bye. <laughs> bell? What bell? It's after school. What about Vicky? Shelly, tell me. Miss Shirley, about the homework, I don't think it's enough. Could you give us more tomorrow? Miss Shirley, do you want to buy my NFT? It's below full price right now. I think you can afford it. <laughs> Oops, Miss Shirley, butt dialed. Oh, by the way, my homework ate my dog, so I can't hand it in tomorrow. Miss Shirley, for question number four about John having five apples and Wesley having X number of apples, like, why should we even care about how many apples Wesley has? Uh, hi Miss Shirley, would you like to... <sighs> oh. oh, it's like I can hear constant ringing in my head. Hey, I just found this triangle! Would you look at that? My Vivian just scored full marks again for her recent term test. First time? So cute. My Denise has been doing that for years. <laughs> but my Vivian wasn't such a gem when she first entered Titan Academy. It must be because of my new and improved pedagogy. Well, the main reason my Denise has been doing so well is because she's had me as a teacher for years now. Okay? Well, Renny Siang's results have improved ever since I tutored him in the after-school programs.
Ben has gotten gold on his fitness exam again, all right? And it's all because he hasn't been doing homework and focusing on PE. And it's all thanks to me. <laughs> is that something to be proud of, Mr. Dan? A student is failing because of you. But goal! If he fails one more time, I'll be sure to replace you. Anyone can teach PE. How about you, Sid Bang? Or you, Philip? One watermelon. I cut into two. This side I'll give to you. That side I give to her. Like that, Balan Balan. Nah, no fighting, okay? I'll have a word with Miss City about your work ethics. Yes. Can I help you? Hey, these students are really hard to teach. If I don't open my mouth, they won't open my mouth. 我一开口，他们就开口，教到我的头发快要掉光了。本来想退休啊，真的可惜啊，退休金啊还要等多两年半。我明白。对哦，我也觉得一样。These students are too much. Too much, too much. You dare to too much? You think I old teacher? Don't know how to speak proper English, ah? Huh? I hear you speak Chinese, ah? My hair just turned white. That's why I go and dye black color. You better go now before I turn your hair to white color, huh? Uh, Mr. Philip, could you help me return this to Mr. Mabuhai? He left it in the classroom just now. This one is staff room, now, huh? You think I am mean, ah? You better go to your student room, okay? Before I turn your hair to white color. Has anyone seen my pass? No, no la! Pass here, pass there, there, pass, 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 pass. I make you feel, huh? Sit down! Sit! Wait. Now a lot of teachers huh, use uh, handphone to play games, huh? Play games? No, Philip. I'm actually marking all my students' papers now. Oh. I give all my kids' homework through the internet. Okay. In that way, I can see what they're doing and give comments on the spot. Oh, all, all, all online. Yeah. You, you can teach me now. Of course. All right, first, you have to... Okay, let me try, let me try. <laughs> Congratulations, you won. Yeah, I see, I win, I win. Oh, now, oh, can use a handphone to mark in and also can win prize, huh? Uh, Philip, I think that's a scam. I wouldn't click that if I were you. You don't disturb me. I want to put the credit card detail to collect the price, okay? Uh, Philip, my iPad. Wait la, you scared what? Oh, you win neighbor only la. You think I, I got, got wind to fly la? Oh, yo. Wah! I win, I win! Uh, I win, I win! Eh, where the money? Oh, I'm gone la. <laughs> you get scammed! I have to walk more two more years! <laughs> I'll buy you lunch later. Sure. Come, come, come. Are you going to be finished soon, Mom? I'm always the last student at new school. I'm tired, I want to go home. Vicky, I'm trying to mark these papers as fast as I possibly can. Do you think I want to be here? I would rather be at home watching TV, just like you. Okay, then how much more do you have to mark? Uh, about this much. Okay, that's not too bad. This is for T1, T5. This is for N41. This is for T1, T6. This is for T1, T1. And this is for T1, T2. I'll just do my homework in the library. No! No library. Anywhere but the library. Hey, Sophia. How are things? Sophia, so good? Not right now, Mr. Dan. <laughs> okay. Hey, Mabu, hi. Hey. Eh, Mabu, bye. Hey, what's up? Where are your jokes? You're so lame. No, yours are lame. Hey, how's work? Pretty busy. Yeah, it's alright. Slowly, but surely. You wanna help me, Mark? Who's Mark? Sounds like a serious conversation. 
Anyway, what do you have for next semester, Soup Bing? I'm just trying to get my creative juices flowing. So I'm going around getting different ideas for my lesson plan. What is it to you, Mr. Dan? Isn't PE all about kicking balls and running around like hooligans? <laughs> hooligans? Who says that PE is just kicking balls and running around? We do! Hey, did you hear that? The bell. Okay teachers, I'm not sure if some of you have heard, but the school board decided to put in place a night school program. Which means some of you might need to take extra shifts at night. Anyway, Mr. Say no more. Say no more, Mr. T. I'm going to teach these guys whatever they missed when they were in school. After all these years of teaching PE, I can finally teach other subjects. I will not fail you. Before I was rudely interrupted, no, Mr. Dan, you will not be teaching. As a matter of fact, I'll be enrolling you in this program to brush up your skills. Because frankly, it's getting harder and harder for me to justify your employment here. No hard feelings though. <laughs> well, who am I to complain? Free lessons, right? Oh, that's where you're wrong again. It will come up from your paycheck. I just want a nap. Alright, I'll be going back to my office to finish up some paperwork. Try not to interrupt me like some people here. I have an important deadline and I need to focus. Have a good evening, everyone. Important deadline? What do principals even do anyway? We are the ones doing all the work. Uh, Miss City, about the night school program, you can't be serious, right? Get out of my room! Sorry. Sut Beng, are you going to clean this up? Don't talk to me. I have 30 more papers to mark and class starts in 30 minutes. Do you always have to confiscate everything? Well, there will be no eating in my class. How about this? Yeah, I told Debbie I was going to take care of that. But it's dead. You don't know that! I'm pretty sure this means it's dead. Well then, just throw it away. That's not part of my job scope. That is exactly part of your job scope. The teacher teaches and the cleaner cleans. So clean it up. If nobody appreciates me, then you clean it up yourself. I quit. Well, cleaning isn't that hard anyway. She thinks it's very easy. <laughs> Let's watch her do it herself. So, Suti, heard we are working together. Stop calling me that you are no longer my husband. Well, since we are working together, I just thought to let you know that we'll be conducting our yearly cleanliness inspection. But I'm sure that's no cause for concern, right? Wait, when's this happening again? Before tomorrow morning's assembly. Ah, of course. No cause for concern at all. Good. Guys, 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 guys! The organisation is planning to have an inspection. Oh, that's okay. I mean, we can get the students to cut their hair and then check some uniforms. No, 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 no. The organisation is planning to do a cleanliness inspection in the staff room. Ah, uh, don't worry. When is it? Like next month? Or next week? Like tomorrow. Ah. Huh? Yeah. Oh I don't even teach mathematics. I can't get it's lucky! Why do they give so much homework? What's going on, Shirley? Isn't it just an inspection? You haven't met the organisation. But how bad can they be? But you are going to find out. Now, first of all, go back to the table, clean up, clean up. Oh, no, I'm getting the trouble. So, oh my God, where's the bin? Where's, where's the bin? Where's the bin? It is always happening at the most random time of the year. Like, last year, we had it on Teacher's Day. And the year before, Valentine's Day. And this year, Friday. Oh, my God. All right, teachers, calm down, so calm down. Back. There's no need to panic. We have ample of time to get everything in order. All right, if anyone needs me, I'll be in my office doing some work. I've always emphasized the importance of cleanliness amongst the teachers. It is only right for them to set a good example to the students. If they are unable to do so and get into trouble, then perhaps they only have themselves to blame.
Oh, goodness. I might be in trouble. Go big, go big, go big, go big! Uh, what's this doing here? Ah! Teachers of Titan Academy, calm down and stop panicking. Huh? Calm down and stop panicking. We simply have to get ourselves organised and come up with an appropriate action plan for this situation. Starting with those boxes back here. Anyone have any ideas? Oh, oh, me, I have an idea, I have an idea. How about we form a single file line and then we form a human chain to carry out the boxes? A uh, human chain? Mr. Dan, this is not the right time to play some childish B games. Yeah, can we get a suggestion from a real teacher? How about we form a single fine line and pass boxes to one another and out of the stuff room? Excellent idea! Like a human chain! Let's get to it! Boring. No wonder students hate it. I think cleaning is quite therapeutic and it's a great exercise for everyone. Well, I happen to have great connections with all my students. So, in trying times like this, <laughs> I'm able to call upon the strength of our youth. Hi, I heard someone needed our help. Oh, Miss Hannah! Man, can't let you carry that all by yourself. Yeah, Yo, come on, guys. You want to be injured or it's something? Okay, I got it, Miss Hannah. It's oh, okay. Me, I got it. Let me help you. Let me help you. All the students are extremely helpful. It makes me feel so warm and snuggly. <gasps> so, I noticed that you were carrying this pen. It might be too heavy. I'll just put it in your bag. I'll put it in your bag. And done, Miss Hannah. Oh, great job, Jin Hao. I'm really proud of you. I know, right? I literally moved the boxes from there to here. And these guys, they're just slowing me down. What? What? You only carry one box. Look, Miss Hannah, I carry two. Two? <laughs> That's lame. I can carry three. Look All at right, that. big man. How about four, huh? How about four? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, man. Oh. It's just our fault. Honestly, look at him. It's clearly his fault. All three of you, detention now! And get out of the staff room! Okay, so one, two, three. So sorry, you gotta... Not hurt yet, how you? I knew it. I knew it! Hey. It's all because of you, Kevin. It's you, man. Look at me. I can give me two boxes. Look at me. Good job, Jen Hao. Oh, man. What are we gonna do now? Ooh, ooh, I have an idea. How about we form a mini human chain and then we can slowly take the box one by one. Damn. You know what? Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Shirley, do you have any other students to call upon? Listen up. It may look bad, but all we have to do is to move the rest of these boxes out of here and Auntie Tita will take it from there. Ah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah about that. She's not coming in today. So she's coming in tomorrow? She's not coming in anymore. What? what? Yeah. <sighs> it's not the first time she made someone quit. The school's handyman, the gardener... The IT support, the technician... She even made Mr James quit the marriage. Let's try to clear up as much as we can. And mopping is for mops and sweeping is for sweeps! It's not gonna help us clear up the staff room. And Mr Dan put down the snacks! No, I'm just trying to help clear up the mess. Can we ask for an extension? Yes, Sud Bing. As the new head of discipline, you should be the one to speak to Mr. James. This is, after all, your fault. Yeah, I guess you're right. It is my fault. But I'm, I'm going to make things right. The right way. I'll admit, 
I've struggled to swallow my pride and offer a sincere apology numerous times. And there have been times where my ego has clouded my judgement, leading to many unnecessary arguments, both in my personal and professional life. But I've come to realise that the true error lies in me not learning from these mistakes, especially if they impact others. Auntie Tita! You're back! What a big mess! So, can you clean it up in time? Who do you think I am? Of course I can! <laughs> now, go, go! Let me start cleaning. Um, actually, I was thinking maybe we can all help out since the staff room is our responsibility, right? Yes. yes. Well, just don't mess it up even more. Now, let's get to work! What? I fixed it, right? Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Allen. We are ready for the inspection. Very impressive teachers. This inspection has been greatly improved over past years. Yes, we expect this level of discipline in every year's inspection. What? Who put that there? I've never seen that before. Have you? Have I? It's, it's not mine. Is it yours? Hey you! Stop running the hallway! This is the first day of school and I've already said it 17 times! Wait for the second grade of me. Hi, welcome back to school. Yes, yes, it's gonna be great. Yes, 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 go, go, go. Your class is that way. What class are you even from? M43 is that way. Go, go, go. Just walk in an orderly fashion, please. No, you can't be your mom to school. No, you can't be your dog to school. Where's the canteen? You're in it! Where's the hallway? You're standing in it! Tell him, help! Ben! Help! I'm just a PE teacher! Can you want to start doing this? No, 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 no! You can't pop your uniform. He's not even from this school. Miss Natalie, how would I know? Can we all try to form a single file line? <gasps> so dang, this is the worst day of the school year. I know, and it's only the first day of the school year. Please tell me it's going to get better. No! I'm so excited to finally come back to school. I can't wait to see everyone again. Another school year, another chapter of our lives. I wonder if anything is going to be different this year. Maybe we'll be in the organisation. Maybe Madam Sutton will finally give birth. Maybe Mr. Dan will get promoted. Maybe we'll go on a field trip. Maybe we get to go to prom. Maybe we'll have a talent show. Maybe we'll win a decathlon. Oh, oh, what else? What else? Maybe we'll get new classmates. Oh, I know! Maybe Tin Ha and Denise will finally get back together. Maybe Bin Tin and Denise will get together. Oh, I know! Maybe you and Ben will get together. <sighs> Talking about Ben, I kind of miss him. But we haven't spoken since the whole summer break. He's in Korea. But he did send me a text though. Can I see? Oh, uh, that, that's it? Yeah. I did buy him a gift. Dolls? Uh, is that Barbie and Ken? No, it's Darby and Ben. I have one too. His name is Barbie and Aima. Alright, who's so difficult? Hi, I miss you guys so much. Hi. What's your name? Welcome to school. It's me, Vicky. Vicky? Vicky? What happened to you, Vicky? You're smiling. You never do that. 
I'm on a journey of self-discovery. I've realised we can't control the things that happen to us, but we can control how we react to it. And it all begins with self-love. Wow, that's inspiring. How do you come up with that? Well, I've travelled alone. Yep, a little bit of time away from Madam Subin can do that to you. By the way, why did Madam Subin give us so much homework, huh? What's up with your mom? It's ridiculous. All we did is homework, 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 homework. And you know what? I didn't even do the homework. But you're gonna send it to me, right? Right? Okay, cool. Thanks. Hey, Vicky, so you did the homework? Can you send it to me too? Wait, there's something different about you. What's up with that smile? You look so weird. I like you better without it. Control, control, control. Hey, Sounds you're gonna send me the homework, right? Come and get your girl. Hey, hey, finally, back to school. You know, I used to have anxiety come back here, but after doing it 17 times, I'm practically a senior. People respect me. Hey, watch where you're going. I'm walking here. Calm down, dude. It was an accident. Jeez. What's that guy's problem? Puberty. New students. Whatever. Hey, I'm gonna go look for Denise. Whoa, 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 whoa. Speaking of Denise, I've decided. I'm gonna confess to her today. What? Whoa. What do you think you're doing? Denise and I may have gone through a rough patch, but we're finally fixing things now, and you're not gonna sabotage. What do you mean? Dude, you guys broke up. It's fair and square. It's open season now. Then what about Maddie? Maddie? I don't ever care about her anymore. Besides, he's probably over it. You can have her. What do you mean I can have her? Don't tell me you've never considered her. Look, Maddie's nice. She's really pretty. And she's kind, she's caring. And we do have tons of common interests. But... But what? She's just not Denise. Sorry, could you like repeat the whole thing again? I, I, didn't, I didn't catch you. Fine, fine. I said Maddie's nice. Wait, 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 wait. A bit louder. Maddie's nice, really pretty. Sometimes she can be really kind and she has just tons of good qualities. We have common interests like gaming. I don't want to elaborate on it. Wait, just... wait, 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 wait. I think I've heard enough. You know what? Since you like Maddie so much, just go for it, dude. I don't mind. You know, we're, we're bros. I don't mind. Look, this is stupid. You're stupid. Your hair is stupid. It's not even red! You know what? Just go for it. Just go for it. Denise is not even gonna say yes. Hey, do you know where this class is? What do you mean by hey? And do you even know who you're talking to? <laughs> chill, chill! Let's talk it out! There's no need to shout! I'm new here. <laughs> Being new doesn't give you an excuse to be rude, ignorant and unaware. Just give me your admission letter. Wait, are you sure you're going to this class? <laughs> Being old here is not an excuse to be ignorant and unaware. Now tell me, where is my class? Fine. It's on third floor. <laughs> See? Was that so hard? Oh, I'm not give all of that kid my class. Kevin, what was that for? And why are you wearing your home monitor tie again? I'm back, baby. And as of today, Mr. Allen has reinstated me to be hall monitor again. In fact, he even gave me a promotion. You got, you got promoted to shell monitor? I think it's pronounced shell. Shell? Like seashell? So you monitor seashells? It's S dot hall monitor. It stands for senior hall monitor. That's okay, I guess. I mean, since we are friends now, you wouldn't get us in trouble, right? Wrong! What? Wrong again! I've learned that you can't let emotions get to you. It hurts me to do this, but Julin, stand up! For what? That skirt is half an inch too short. Nothing personal, but here's your ticket. Now go to the principal's office. Didn't you say you like it this way? Wrong! That's the old Kevin. Now he's senior hall monitor Kevin. Good morning, senior hall monitor Kevin. You're in my good books. Hmm. Oh, do you hear? N41 will be able to choose their science electives this year. Really? We should pick the same classes so we get to be together. I'm thinking maybe biology. But I'm not good at it though. But as long as you're there, you'll be able to teach me all about it. 
Mr. Allen would like to have a word with you now. Now? Well, we need to head to class. I need to find out about M41's timetable. <laughs> Let's just say you don't have to worry about that anymore. Worry about what? About that. What? M41's timetable. You just said it. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Worry about timetables? What? No! Worry about time? No! Worry about tables? No! Look, just head to Mr. Allen's office now. Isn't it Jasmine from T1-T5? Is she coming back? She hasn't been seen in the academy for so long. Yeah. When I heard when the organisation tried to expel half the students, she led by herself to pursue an e-sports career. So, what's she doing back? And I'm back! Oh, hey! Uh, who are you again? I'm Jay from Class T1-T5. Ah. Ah. Yeah, we've never heard of a Juhi. I know! Your name is Julien! Oh, Julien! The senior from T1-T5! No! I'm Juhi! Juhi! Jolene's another person, and I'm the other person. Ah. Yeah, we still don't know who you are. What? I wasn't even gone for that long. I wasn't even gone. Hello, Maddy. Hi, Hi Maddy. Hi, Hi, Maddy. I've been here longer than her. Okay, gotta go. Bye, Julius. Bye, Julius. Bye, Julius. Bye, Julius. I got a feeling for the blue It's not easy for me to say goodbye But I don't know how to make it You're in my seats Did you guess me? Am I seeing a ghost? Or am I a ghost? Um, how are you? Um, did your esports career work out? It didn't? I, I guess it did I, I'm sure it did Uh, yeah, you can have your seat, so sorry Okay Stop! <laughs> I don't think so. You haven't been here for a while, so you can just sit over there, you know? Look at you, Diana. All grown up. Is your wit have find this hot? Diana, I think it's okay. She can have her seat. I'll just make my way right now, okay? No, you'll sit! The bell. You're both going in the books. I mean, I'll let this slide. Hey, look, it's Ben. Should I go talk to him? You know, Debbie, I'm totally against this idea of you and Ben. He has got you way too many times. But if it makes you happy, I'm all for it. Really, Julian? Thanks for understanding. That's what best friends are for, right? Hey Ben, long time no see. Oh, hi Debbie. How was your Korea trip? Was it nice and cold there? Uh, it's okay. Actually, through the holidays, I done some thinking and I think that we should actually... Yo Ben, long time no see, man. How was Korea? I mean, it should be pretty good, right? Since I heard you got a new girlfriend. <laughs> Better yet, I heard she's coming to Titan Academy, right? How cool is that, going to school with a girlfriend? Ha! Can't relate. Alright, see you, Ben. It's okay, Debbie. She's probably not that pretty. Oh my god! Please let me know, stop her! Please let me know, stop
Hey, Lisa. Hey, Ben. Ready to show me to class? Oh, and you must be Debbie. Yeah, Ben probably told you a lot about me. No, your name tag says Debbie. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, so uh, we are still friends, right? Yeah, I mean, of course we are still friends. It won't be weird, right? Weird? No, you don't be weird. I mean, you know what's weird? These dogs are weird. <laughs> Mr. Allen, Beverly is here. Leave us. Beverly, I trust that you have not forgotten about our agreement. Yes, so I'll, I'll get it done. That's what I like to hear. However, it seems to me that you need a little bit of encouragement. But it's just the start of the year. That's exactly why we need to start things off on the right footing. This is your schedule. T1, T5? What about M41? <laughs> Don't worry about M41. I've paved the way for you to thrive in T1, T5. Just remember, I want chaos and havoc until everything I envisage comes to fruition. The Academy shall witness the birth of a new era where my visions reign supreme and everyone bows to my will. I have one request. You come here thinking that you can negotiate? Interesting. I'm simply stating what I need in order to get things done. Very well. Just remember, as easy as this is done, it can also be undone. Now go. A new year begins. Ha <laughs> No students on the rooftop, or I'm going to have to write you up. Hold on, hold on. I guess I can take a break from my duties. What's the matter, Denise? Is everything alright? You know, it's been some time and I'm just starting to realise that I'm not the only girl on Tian House mind all this time. I've always chosen Jia Hong over Vincent, but I think I might have messed up real bad. Because even after the breakup, I always thought and I hoped there was a chance that we could get back together. But today, I heard him tell Vincent that he thinks Maddie is sweet and kind and pretty, and she is all of these things. But these were also the words that he used to describe me before. So, it feels like a punch to the gut, you know. And I thought what we had was special. But perhaps I've been fooling myself all along. And it's been extra difficult to cope because I'll think about all of the time that we spent together, everything that we've been through together. And yet, now it's like I'm not even on his radar any longer. So, yes, I've been feeling pretty bummed and I wish that things were different. But I guess in life things don't always work out the way that you want it to. 
Are you crying, Kevin? No. I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> you know what, Denise? I'm sick and tired seeing you being thrown around by those two. No, 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 Kevin. Actually, I think it's more my fault. I have been pretty indecisive. I've sent them mixed signals at times. It's so strange, right? I know all the elements in the periodic table, and yet, when it comes to emotions, I just can't figure it out. No, no, Denise, don't guess like yourself that way. It's about time you make a decision. You know, you're always choosing Jen Hao over Vincent, but this time, you really gotta think for yourself and decide. You know what? Take all the time that you need. The rooftop is yours, okay? It's yours, not mine, but yours. Hey Denise, you know I'd find you here. Listen, there's something important I gotta tell you. I told you that I'll send you the homework later. What? It's not about that. But yeah, send it to me ASAP because class is about to start. Anyway, back to what I was trying to say. Is everything okay, Denise? You feeling alright? I don't know if I should tell you this, but I overheard the conversation that you had with Jianhao earlier today. You did? Yes. And hearing what Jiang Hao had to say about Maddie, it hurt. It really, really hurt. I always thought that we had a chance of working things out, especially since things went so well for us over the summer holidays. But if he's considering Maddie now, I'm not sure if I want to stick around, it's just an option. Well, for what it's worth, Denise, if I had to choose, it'll be you, and only you. A girl like you is hard to come by. You're all the combinations of smart, pretty, and kind. And if anyone takes that for granted, then it's their loss. You deserve to be appreciated. Like how I've appreciated you since day one. Do you really mean that? Of course I do. I've never hit the fact that I've liked you since we met. You show me care and concern like no one has ever had. And stop comparing yourself to Maddie. Yeah, she's great and all, but... She's just not you. She deserves to be happy. <laughs> Things just got a whole lot easier. So, does this mean we're dating now? But how do I explain it to him? You don't owe anyone an explanation. Oh, there you are, Denise. I've been looking for you all day. It's not like you to be late for class. We need to talk. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? I don't feel good about it too, but I think that you should hear it from me first. Hey, chill out! You hear? We're a thing now! <laughs> Girlfriend, boyfriend. Girlfriend, boyfriend. Girlfriend, boyfriend. <laughs> Students, get inside. Class is about to start. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's go to class. Girlfriend. This is going to take some time to get used to. I'll see you in class. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that? Get used to it. <sighs> Could this day get any worse? And don't forget to submit your summer homework. Leave it on my table before taking your seats. <sighs> Here. Thought you might need this. Summer homework? Mm -hmm. You did it for me? Mm, yeah. Thanks, Maddie. Let's head to class. Let's go to class. Come on, Denise. Hey, save your seat. Over there, with Maddie. I like each other. Alright, everyone, settle down and quiet down. This is the first day of school, not the first day at a fish market. We have a lot to cover, so I expect everyone to be attentive and engaged. So stop acting like this is your first day at school. Now, let's carry on from where we left off at chapter 25 of your textbook. Students, quiet down. Now, shh. Mr. Allen will be making an announcement regarding the changes that will be made for the new school year. I do not want to hear anyone talking. Is that clear? 
I said, is that clear? Yes, very clear. Stop, stop. As we begin the new year here in Titan Academy, we would like to reflect on what has been a relatively successful year for us. We have participated in numerous events spanning from sporting competitions like football and basketball and academic competitions like the Math and Science Fair. We even managed to come in second place in the National Science Fair. That's us, that's us. However, for us, that's simply not good enough. We are supposed to be a prestigious institution producing only the greatest minds. Second place just doesn't cut it. Hence, for this year, I will be introducing a new bending system to ensure that our students' academic abilities are not limited by their age but only limited by their capabilities therefore do expect changes to your teachers and your classmates very soon what does that mean are we going to change classes i don't want to be separated we will leave it to your teachers to let new students get acquainted with the new classmates. For now, that is all. New students who? Is this my class? So, this should be all. Here you go. Thanks, Miss Shirley. You know, I still wish I hadn't made this decision, but I understand. You're a bright girl, so I'm sure you'll do fine. Ah, just try not to burn anything down again, okay? You know I can't promise that, right? <laughs> I know. Let's go. Alright everyone, that's all for today. If you're staying back, do make sure you clean up the classroom before you leave. What's up with Deverly joining T1-T5? You guys are okay with this? He seems pretty nice though. Nice? He helped us at the science fair. Help! He literally tried to burn down your project! <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly burned down our project. Anyway, you're missing the most important fact. Me and Denise are together now! <laughs> Isn't that crazy, guys? It's so great! <laughs> We're together! Congrats! <laughs> yeah, he gets it. <laughs> Nicole, there you are. We've been missing you the whole time. Are you joining us? Well, for many of you, it's your first day at school. But for me, it's my last. What? What happened? I got gifts for everyone. Even you, Julian. Oh, what? Are we good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're good. Okay, not a good. Nicole, with you gone and so many changes, how are we going to beat the organisation? Oh, wait. Where are you going? I'm going to New York. My mom's there, so don't worry about me. I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about me. I'm all alone now. I'm actually more worried for the people in New York. Just keep the good vibes up, guys. I'll be back before you know it. And our strength is in our bond, so don't you ever forget that. What, what does that mean? That was a what horrible does that mean? end to anyone, wants, anyone knows what that means? Who is that way? Did you get off a chat Thanks, GPT? Mom. I do feel her bond. Roshi Evelyn. Nicole, you sure you want to do this? I have to look for mom. She's been gone for so long. Plus, I've been receiving all these cryptic messages. Take a look at this. <gasps> oh, 
I don't even know it's from her, but there's only one way to find out. I'm coming with you. What? No! You have to stay here. You play a much bigger role than you realize. Why? Is there something you're not telling me? Just go along with it. Is there something to do with these emojis? Nicole, you forgot your luggage! It's fine, I'll shop there. What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? She's gonna shop there. You're interrupting a very important conversation. Come on. <sighs> so New York, huh? The Big Apple. Well, what's a Big Apple? New York? The Big Apple? That's what they call it. Did you even do your research? You're going to New York and you don't know it's a Big Apple? But why Apple? <sighs> Just go with it. All right, here's your plane. Yep. I guess this is it. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna miss you. Okay, you're choking me. Okay, you're choking me, you're choking me. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait! I forgot to pass you something. Take this. Have it. Your plane's leaving. It's fine, I own it. That's true. Are we ready for the next phase? Yes sir, the plans are in motion. Remember, if we do not see big profit by the end of this year from Titan Academy, it will be a pure financial liability and we have no choice but to close it down. Don't mind if I interrupt sir, but education is not a business. Shut up girl! I place my trust in the both of you to turn this into a profitable business model. Don't be very great. Let's get to work. <laughs>